you how to create your very own drawstring bag. Here are the materials you need. First, the fabric of choice. For me, I'm using this old blanket, and you could be using any old fabrics you have at home. It may be a curtain in your towel, any old fabric. But I suggest using somewhere near a black cloth so that if our bags get stained, we won't be washing it that often since it won't be seen. Second is old long pants. Now, I won't be using this since my fabric is already thick enough, but if your fabric is thin, then you could use old long pants to, to harden it. You could do this by sewing it at the back of your fabric. And yes, and yeah. Third, you will need really good scissors to cut your fabric. Fourth, some needles and some thread. Fifth, four yards of thick cord string. Four yards mean four meters. This is recommended if you want to save time, but if you have if you don't have one lying around your house, then we could create one which I'll teach you later on. Six, we'll also need some markers and some rulers. The dimensions of the fabric or maong or interfacing, if you're using that, is 15 by 30 inches. And if you also don't have a cord around your house, then the dimensions uh, of which you will cut the fabric is 4 meters long and 1 inch wide. First, we'll create a cord or string for the bag if you were not able to purchase this like mine. You could do this by taking out the 4 meters by 1 inch wide of fabric that we have and folding it inside and then sewing along the edges. Now we're doing this because our fabric is uh, our fabric has loose threads and we don't want to be ruining our bag because of these loose threads. Keep in mind also when you're creating this type of cord is that we will be looping this around the bag and so we want this to be thin but not very thin but also thick you know so borderline between thin and thick uh, i'd like to say that this will take so much time since it's four meters long i su i suggest i strongly suggest that you find one that is already that won't be having any loose threads and working with that so second, we will try to smooth in the sides of our fabric so that, that, so that it does not get destroyed easily. This will also be your chance to correct any wrong cuts you made earlier when cutting your fabric. Fold as little as you can but not too much as it will not be too difficult for you to sew. <laughs> Fold the fabric crosswise, keeping in mind to have the wrong side outside and the right side inside. Again, wrong side outside and the right side inside. Fold one inch on top, like so. And remember that when you're folding the top parts, they will be facing opposite sides, like this. Keep in mind also that one inch is not necessary. You don't have to keep it one inch if you if you made a cord that is too thick. We want to be able to fit at least two cords inside these loops. So you could adjust the one inch to be 1.5 or, or even lo uh, larger than that. Then sew at the bottom of the fold for both sides. If you're wondering why we had to fold with the wrong side on the outside, it's because we're going to flip it inside out later. So, babarik pa rin lang natin mamaya. Fourth, we can now insert the cords we created inside. 
To do this, take a safety pin or something to latch your cord into and insert it inside one loop. Then, insert it on the other loop. And then we do it back again. In the end, you should now have two sides of the cord hanging from both sides. And for the final step, take the cord from one side and put it inside the bag. The ends of it should be hanging at the bottom. Do the same for the other side and make sure that you tie the ends of the loop at least two times. Now, begin sewing along both edges with the end of the cord outside. Finally, turn it inside out and you have your very own DIY drawstring bag. <laughs>